Alright, this is the inside of the eastern building of the National Gallery of Art in Washington, D.C. Um, the west building had a lot better of a selection because the art was older. This is almost all 20th century art right here. And as you can see, just from what's on the walls, it's basically nonsense. I was here a few days ago, so I'm back to see if I can get some footage of the nonsense that's in here. One interesting thing about this museum is that it's almost empty. I mean, you can look around and you see a lot of concrete. And you see a few pieces of art. This is in the third floor. You can see all the way down. And where's the art? It's tucked away in the back in exhibition rooms. Now, here right in front of you, you see a nice little mobile. Awfully pointless. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it's a fifth grade art project right there. That right there is a huge painting on the second floor. And that goes with that saying. So let's see. Pan over here. That. I'm not quite getting the directions here. That doesn't look any better close up. And over there, more of what you would expect. So let's pan out here. Okay, this one's really funny. Uh, this was actually submitted as a joke by an elementary school art teacher. This was made by an eight-year-old in third grade. And uh, just as a joke, decided to submit it for consideration. And now here it is in the uh, National Art Museum. Okay, not a word of that is true, but it might as well be. Stick figures, etc., etc. Makes me want to go out and buy some art supplies. This is a close-up of the painting that I got a shot of across the way. As, as I said, it's not any better close-up. In fact, it's more frustrating close-up because you can see pointless crap like that. More scribble than you've ever seen. Alright, this is one room in the National Gallery of Art. Try to go slowly so you can... Okay, this looks like nothing at all, so let me try and zoom in a little here. Oh wait, it is nothing at all. Good gracious. Now, a great contrast to the crap that was in the, uh, the Museum of Art is the Library of Congress. These are some, uh, it's a fountain in front of the Library of Congress, and uh, I already tried videotaping some of the outside architecture and it doesn't do it any justice at all. I'm going to have to try again later. Um, but more to come. Alright, we're here at the Library of Congress and unfortunately if I pull back enough to uh, give a full view of the building, it's not close enough to get any of the details. So here's something of a detail shot and there are statue or there are busts in front of all the windows and wait until you see the inside of it. It's really fantastic. So there's that. I'm going to cross a little bit more slowly so you can see the busts. Uh, there we go. 
Alright, and up here we've got... Check out the detail on that. That's fantastic. Alright. And of course the flag on top. Alright, going inside. Alright, this is the inside of the Library of Congress. You really can't get a sense of how fantastic this is if you're not here. Because this is just a little sliver at a time. So you can check out the upstairs there. Nice statue. At the top of each one of these windows is a saying or a quote, and here's one of my favorites. The true university of these days is a collection of books.